welcome to another exciting balloon tutorial. My name is Holly from balloonhowto.com and today I've got a special video for you. We're going to learn how to make a big fancy woven hat out of balloons. It's going to be a top hat. Everybody's been asking me for this video so I'm bringing it to you guys and I'm going to teach you how to weave top hats today. So stay tuned and we'll get started. Okay, so to make this top hat, we're going to need to start off with five balloons. I'm going to make my top hat with these five colors. I like to do different colors when you're learning how to weave because it makes it a lot easier to see what balloons are supposed to go where. Okay, so let's go ahead and blow each of our balloons up about six pumps. Alright, so I've got all five of my balloons blown up. You can see the tail there. It's about that long, maybe three inches. Now there's two different ways that you can start a top hat. You can have the top of the hat actually closed or you can leave it open. So the easiest way to learn is to start with a closed top hat. So go ahead and take your balloons into pairs and just tie them together. So I'm going to tie these two together. And I'm going to tie these two together. And we're going to combine them all by taking our fifth balloon and just make a little bubble at the beginning and twist that into all five of our balloons. Get them all twisted and locked together. So we've got a big, giant, colorful starfish. Okay. Now you've got to decide how big you want your top hat to be. Um, I'm going to come out about, well, I'm going to do about three inches here. Make a twist and then do a small bubble and make that into a pinch twist. And you're going to do the same thing for each balloon, measuring to make them the same size. And then do a small pinch twist and do the same for all five balloons. All right, so now we've got all five of our balloons with a twist and then a pinch twist. Now we're going to kind of start the weaving process. So pick any one of your balloons to start with and we're just going to make a small bubble. Now the key with weaving is you want all of these small bubbles to be as close to the same size as possible. The bubbles we make going across can be different sizes and that will change the shape of your balloon. But for the best overall look, you need these bubbles to be very consistent. So just keep that in mind as you're working. Now to make things easier on ourselves, we're going to do kind of a button close, which you would use more in making balloon dresses. Um, but it's also handy for doing hats. It makes um, ending each row a lot easier. So, after you do a small bubble here, you're going to do a very, very, very small pinch twist. So I make my bubble about that big, and then I make that into a pinch twist. And just make sure, just make it as small as you can. You'll get great results the smaller you can make it. Okay? So that's the balloon we're starting off with. Next, we want to come over to our next balloon and make another small bubble. But we're not going to put a pinch twist on this one. You only want your pinch twist to be on the first bubble of each round, which will make more sense as we go along. Um, but for now, we're just going to go to our next balloon and make one small bubble the same size as this one. Take your first balloon and put, pull it across. And I'm going to do about three inch bubble right here in our purple balloon and then just connect it to our next balloon over. Okay, and then get your yellow one going out that way. Come over to your next balloon and make a very small bubble, the same size as the other ones. Take your yellow balloon across and twist it in there. And now we go to the next balloon, which is this green one here. We're gonna make our small bubble. Take your orange balloon across Twist it in there. Now you've got your green one coming out. So take, go to our next balloon, make a small bubble. Get your green balloon going across and twist it in there. 
And now you get your pink balloon going across and connecting with our very first balloon here. And we're going to twist it into this pinch twist. So go ahead and just twist it and connect it into that pinch twist. And now you have your first row of a woven balloon top hat. Yay! <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go down and do the second row. And we're going to want to keep all the pinch twists on the same column. <laughs> rows and columns, rows and columns. <laughs> all right, so, but now we've got a pink balloon here. So now we're going to do the pinch twist on the pink balloon. So we're just going to keep it going straight down this column. So go ahead and make a small bubble, small little bubble, and then do an even smaller bubble. And then second bubble is going to be your pinch twist. Woo. All right. So you can see our small bubble and then our pinch twist. And now we're going to start our second row by going across, making a small bubble but no pinch twist, just a small bubble on our purple balloon. Take your pink balloon over and go ahead and connect it. Um, you can give your top hat all different kinds of shapes. It can be real big at the top and then kind of get narrow as it goes down to the bottom. And to do that, you're going to make these side bubbles get shorter and shorter. So I'm going to make this one just a little bit shorter than the one above it. And then connect that. And then we've got our purple one coming across. We're going to connect it into our yellow by making a small bubble. And then we're going to make our purple one a little bit shorter than the bubble above it. And connect that. Come over to our orange, make a small bubble, and then you're going to take your yellow one across, make it a little bit shorter than the one above it, twist those together, and go on over to our next balloon, make a small bubble, take your orange across, make it a little bit smaller than the one above it, and twist those together. And now we're back at the beginning where our pinch twist is at. So we're going to take our green, make it a little bit smaller than the pink above it, and then connect it into that pinch twist. All right. So now we have our second row of our woven balloon top hat. Okay. So I'm going to do the exact same thing all over again, except I'm going to make these connecting bubbles even smaller to get our top hat really narrowing down. So now we're on our green balloon on our row of pinch twist. We're going to go ahead and do the small bubble and then a very small pinch twist. Like that. And now we're going to take our green and we're going to connect it to the pink by making a small bubble. Take the green across and make it even shorter than this bubble above it. So I'm going to do it about that big and twist it together. Okay, see that? Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come over here with our next balloon. Do a small bubble. Connect the pink. Then we're going to come to the next bubble, next balloon, do a small bubble. So you can see that. And we're going to connect the purple. Come over to our next balloon, do a small bubble, connect the yellow. And now we're back at the first one where the pinch twist is at. So we're just going to go ahead and twist this orange one and connect it right into that pinch twist. All right. So can you kind of see the way the shape is getting narrower as we go down? And you can keep doing that to make it real, real exaggerated. Or you can do a straight top hat. It's up to you. The more you do this, the more you'll kind of get a feel for how changing the lengths of the balloons will impact the shape of your hat. So that's what we've got so far. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do another row of this. 
So I'm going to come over here to our row where our pinch twists are all lined up nice and neat. And on this orange balloon, we're going to come down to a small bubble and then a small pinch twist. Just like that. And then we'll take our orange balloon over now and it's going to connect into this green one. Make a small bubble there and then I'm going to make this even shorter than the one above it. And connect it right in there like that. Alright, and then we're going to take our green and connect it over to the pink by making a small bubble. And then twisting the green. And then we're going to take the pink over across and connect it to the purple by making a small bubble. And connecting the pink balloon. And then purple goes across. Connect to the yellow. And your colors could be all different than mine. Um, but you can kind of see how the colors start to wrap around the hat. So doing it when you're learning, doing it in different colors kind of really helps you understand exactly where your balloon is supposed to go and what step is next. So I do recommend using different colors to get started with. And it does look really cool. So it's got a nice rainbow hat effect. <laughs> so now we're on our yellow balloon and it's going to connect into the pinch twist right here. And it's just ready and waiting for it. And there we have another row of our hat completed. Okay, so my balloons are starting to get pretty tight. We're starting to run out of room here, as you can see. Uh, you've got several options when that starts to happen. One thing you can do is just go ahead and cut all these balloons off and blow up five more balloons in the same color and just tie them together and keep going as long as you want. You can make a super tall top hat or we can go ahead and start to end this by making the rim of our hat. So this is going to be um, a shorter top hat, which is fine. They can be as big or as small as you want. If you just want to do it with five balloons, you're going to end up with something about this size, which is perfectly fine. Uh, still awesome looking balloon. It's going to get you a lot of oohs and ahs whenever you make this for your customers. So to start to end this bad boy, what we want is we want our balloons to start going out this way to make the brim of our hat. And we're going to do that by controlling the length of our side bubbles. The up and down bubbles are not going to change in size really. Um, we could change them a little bit for this part, but for the most part they're just going to keep on going. So let's find our column of pinch twist, which is right here. And this side I would probably put in the back just to keep the pinch twist kind of hidden. They don't look that bad, but anyway. So let's go ahead and continue on and we're going to start forcing our balloons out horizontally. So let's go ahead and make another small bubble on our row here and then put a pinch twist there. Alright, so this one is not going out because we have this pinch twist above it. One thing you can do, which you don't have to, it'll still work if you don't do this, but it helps. If you take this pinch twist up here and put it kind of underneath your hat, then you'll see how this starts going out and then we can start making a nice brim to go around the edge of our hat. So the next thing we're going to do is go to our next balloon over and make a small bubble and then you're going to take your yellow and you want to put it across. And you just kind of want to get a feel for your balloon. You don't want to make it real small of a bubble because then your, your hat will just keep wanting to go down. We want it to be pretty wide, wide enough so it forces our balloons kind of up and out. So I'm going to make it about that big and twist it into the orange. Right like that. Okay. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come out to our green balloon. All right, and then we're going to kind of measure how much of how long this bubble needs to be to force everything out. So I'm going to twist it right about there. 
Okay, and then we're gonna go to the next bubble balloon in our sequence. Take our green and measure it. We're gonna twist it right about there. Maybe you can see better that way. Can you see what I'm doing there? So it's just going around the outside of our hat. And now I'm going to take the pink balloon, make a small bubble in the purple one beside it. And we're gonna take our pink and measure and twist those together. Okay, so now I've just got one more cross section. We're gonna need it to be about that long. So I'm just gonna make a twist there and twist it into our pinch twist that's just right here, ready and waiting for us. And now your top hat has a nice little brim on it. And all you have to do is get rid of these end pieces. Now one thing you can do is um, make pinch twists for the ends, which I think is what I'm going to do if I can here. Um, my balloon is a little bit tight, so you could just cut these pieces off and tie knots to keep everything together, or you could just leave a little ball, which is what I'm going to do. So let me show you how I do that when these are really tight like this. So I'm going to twist a little bit of the end to get some uninflated balloon there in my thumb. And then I'm going to take my scissors and just cut a little piece of that, make a little hole in that balloon there. These aren't very good scissors. <laughs> And then I'm going to let some air out until I have enough of a tail to tie a knot and I have a little bubble. So that's about good right there. I'm just gonna take this and tie it off. Okay, so we've got that. And then you can hide this knot by just wrapping it around that bubble. And it just will secure everything in place. So then it looks like just a nice little pinch twist. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all these guys that are sticking out here, and then I'll show you the result. All right, so there is our awesome little top hat. Uh, you might want to also tuck in this top bubble. You can just slide it down there so it's hidden underneath. And then you've got a really nice finished looking top hat, which you can wear like this. Now, you might be wondering how to put this on your head because it's uh, a little bit small. It could fit on my hand, <laughs> but nobody's head is going to fit in there. Uh, so there's a few different things you can do. I like to keep the top hat small like this. I just think they look cute, um, but you could actually, you'd have to use more than five balloons. You'd have to use at least uh, two of every color balloon and just make it wider so that it will actually fit on somebody's head. Uh, but if you're trying to do this in a restaurant or you don't want to use 10 balloons for one balloon creation, then go ahead and just use the five balloons. And one thing you can do that I like to do, this is my favorite way to finish this off, is to just take a really cheap headband. You can buy these at Walmart. They're like two or three dollars for a pack of them. Um, I got these nice ones that are lined in uh, material, so they're not metal or anything. They're not going to pop the balloons. Um, and they, they, are, they come in all different colors, so you can kind of pick something that matches your creation if you want. <laughs> and then all you have to do is just get some balloon scraps and tie your hat onto your headband. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. So I've got a nice yellow scrap here, and I'm just going to pick, um, let's do just one of these sections here in the middle. So I'll just take my scrap down through the bottom of the hat, and then just tie your headband right onto this scrap. Just with using a little scrap. And now 
It wears so easy. Um, it feels secure, so people would have no problems wearing this all night, walking around, showing everyone what an awesome balloon artist you are because you made this hat for them. Um, it's better than what I used to do is I would take balloon, unblown up balloons and tie them onto the hat and then bring them down around the chin. But let's be honest, and nobody likes to wear a hat that's got a sticky balloon coming down in your hair and getting all caught up and everything. Um, this is definitely the best way to go. So just go to any Walmart and just get you some headbands. You're going to use them. I promise you, you're going to use them. And your customers will love wearing your creation so much more with a headband. All right, so that is how you make an amazing woven balloon top hat. You can do this in all different sizes. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, you can make it taller, shorter, fatter. It's up to you. Just play around with this, change the bubble sizes, see what it does to the overall shape of your hat, and let me know how you guys like it. Thank you so much for joining me for this balloon tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you'll get a lot of use out of making this top hat for your clients, customers, friends, and family. And I would love to hear or see what you guys come up with. Feel free to send me pictures or videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can contact me at balloonhowto.com and let me know how it's going. Or if you have any problems or questions with this design or if you're just not getting it, feel free to send me a message from at balloonhowto.com as well. Keep a lookout for more videos that I'll have coming out soon. And I will see you in the next balloon tutorial. Thanks. Bye-bye.